This STL Mom segment is sponsored by SSM Health Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. Do you see this t-shirt? It's from the St. Louis Bucket List founders Marissa and Lucas Farrell. Marissa is an English school teacher and that led her to a passion project to give underserved students the supplies that they need to start school in just a few weeks. It's very simple. With each shirt that's purchased off bucket list, bucketlistbackpacks.com, we're providing a backpack to the Little Bit Foundation. That backpack will then be filled with essential school supplies pretty much to the brim um, and it's going to be distributed it, distributed to those schools in the St. Louis area that need the most help. So far they've dropped off 312 backpacks. To get a t-shirt or to just donate to the Little Bit Foundation you can visit stlbucketlist.com or the littlebitfoundation.org. It truly does make a difference to a child who may not have the money needed to buy pencils, notebooks, and the essentials to set them up for a successful school year. STL Moms has been sponsored by SSM Health Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital, serving pediatric patients in the St. Louis community since 1956. Visit them online at cardinalglennon.com. Nearly 3,500 babies in the United States die suddenly and unexpectedly each year. It's called a Sudden Unexpected Infant Death, or SUID. It's the loss of a child, and it can be devastating. Today we have a local organization to help prevent and help people get through that loss. It's called Infant Loss Resources. And joining me now is their executive director, Vicki Collier and Diane Bashirian, a parent who also serves with Infant Loss Resources. Ladies, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having of course, us. and I mean, Vicki, we will yes. start with you. How does Infant Loss Resources help fight SUID and, you know, other instances or cases like this, such like it's in sudden infant death syndrome, yeah. excuse me. So one of the things that we do at Infant Loss Resources, we're so unique in the aspect that we have grief support as well as preventive. So I always say that what we do is promote safe practices which reduce the risk of infant death and we provide that grief support for families who had that un you know tragic experience of losing a baby. So we're unique in that way. And it is a traumatic experience and these babies can die between one month and one year old. What are some things that can be done to prevent it? Yeah, so right now the uh, American Academy Academy of Pediatrics came up with this new update and it is evidence based and research have already said that we know back to sleep works. However, it's the emphasis on the back to sleep alone on their back in a crib with nothing in that crib, no blankets, pillows, and also they're promoting room sharing. So we talk to our parents about that. We say no bed sharing at all, but room sharing, yes. So those are some of the so things. just a few things that can be done. Yes. <laughs> Diane, how did you come to know Infant Loss Resources? Unfortunately, it's because my daughter Esme died at um, just before three months years old um, in 2014. And Infant Loss Resources was pretty much the only place that I had to turn. I'm so sorry for your loss, but I love that you are now turning that pain and just helping other families here in our greater St. Louis community. What's the best part Thanks. about being able to work alongside Vicki and just co continue to provide these resources for families here in our area? Well, having a, a daughter that you can't really go to a baseball game or watch her graduate, it's so great to feel like I'm doing something good in her memory. Um, and meeting other families, I feel like I'm helping them. What's it been like being able to share your story? Um, I love any chance to talk about her just because she was such a beautiful, wonderful baby um, and it's something I had to get through and it's not been easy, but I'm grateful But that what I you're doing her. is powerful. Thank Absolutely. you. <laughs> yeah, it is very powerful. So thank powerful. you for being here and sharing in what you do. It's invaluable, and I know these families absolutely appreciate you sharing your story 100%. And what you all do is free of charge to the public. Everything correct? is free of charge for our families. And one of the greatest things about what Diane is doing, she's connecting with newly bereaved parents mm -hmm. and kind of showing them the hope that, you know, you can move on. It's difficult, but Diane is doing that with some of our parents that we're working with right now. And you all are also raising funds. Yes. And you are doing it with your 15th annual Strides for Hope 5K 
walk and run. Mm -hmm. Give us the details on that. Yeah, so it's going to be August the 13th, Saturday at Frontier Park in St. Charles. And this is the time when the families come together, like Diane can come together with other families who have been that lived experience, and they get together and honor their babies. We are having a dove release in, a, in oh, memory of the babies. So yeah, sweet. Kid Zone. Uh, we have Louis the mascot coming out, hopefully so, and a lot of <laughs> things like that. <laughs> so, he's so, coming, he's yeah. coming. <laughs> I said it He'll here. Be there. <laughs> oh yes, um, but that's a day of celebratory for yeah. our families. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we are celebrating and really remembering those little angels who are no longer here with us. And you can continue to come out, show up, show your support, and stride for hope. Again, that walk is happening very soon, Saturday, August 13th, from 8 a.m. to noon. It's at at Frontier Park in St. Charles. And all you have to do is head online to runsignup.com. But make sure you have access to all of that information on our website, studiostl.tv. And if you're interested in learning more about infant loss resources, you absolutely can. You can head online to their website at infantlossresources.org. Or you can show them some love on Facebook and on Twitter at Infant Loss Resources and Infant Loss MO. Ladies, thanks so much again for being here with us today. Thanks. Thanks for having us.